Hey everyone, it's Brett from 2techteachers.com. Just wanted to give you a, a brief tutorial here on how I create usernames for staff and students. Um, a lot of times you're going to get a CSV export and it's not going to look very clean. For example, um, you'll notice in cell A2 I've got a last name and a first name in the same cell and it's all capitalized. So I need to clean this up a little bit so that I can start my username creation. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I need to add two columns uh, to the left of B here reason I'm going to be doing that is because I'm going to have a column for the last name and then a column for the first name. So I'm going to be using a formula called split. And that's done by going equals split parenthesis. I'm going to split cell A2, comma, and then in this case I'm going to do double quote, comma, double quote, close parenthesis. The reason I have this comma right here is because I want to split at the comma. Uh, maybe you had a last name, period, first name. And if that's the case, you would actually put a period here. So I'll go ahead and press enter. And now you can see it's divided this into last name and first name. So what I want to do now is I actually want to, well, actually, if you look, I have a little bit of a space here right in front of Matt. Well, I need to actually get rid of that space. And that is going to be done with a formula called substitute. So again, I'm going to insert a column in between C and D and now we've got our, our blank column and this is where I'm going to do a substitute I want to substitute a space for no space and I'm actually going to be using an array formula here so that way I can fill down this entire column of C <clears throat> so I'm going to be starting off with equals array formula and then substitute and then I'm going to substitute C1 Actually, sorry, I'm going to be starting at C2 through the remainder of column C. Now, if you look in the formula, I've got this space here. So I'm substituting space, and then in the next set of quotes, there's no space here. It's just quote, quote. So what that means is there's going to be nothing in between the quotes. In other words, no space. So I'll go ahead and press Enter. Now you'll see that Mac is left aligned because there is no longer a space there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and highlight cells B2 and C2. I don't want to highlight cell D because it is an array. It's going to fill down automatically for me. So with B2 and C2 highlighted, I'm going to double click the fill handle. And you'll notice D2 filled in as well. And it no longer has the space. So the next thing I like to do is I like to set up these first and last names uh, so that they're in sentence case. In other words, the first letter of the name is capitalized and the rest is lowercase. I do this because sometimes I'm going to be importing these into different programs and I want to have the names properly, properly capitalized. Whereas I just don't like having them all capitalized or all lowercase. So in order to do this, I'm going to be inserting a column again here and in column E I'm going to be doing the last name first so let's just go ahead and give this a header right away and we're just going to call it last name and I'm going to be using the formula equals proper and then I'll do an open parenthesis and I'll be clicking on cell B2 close parenthesis then I'm going to insert another column here this will be my first name and I need to make sure I'm using D in this case because that is the one that does not have the space. So again, I'll be doing equals proper, clicking on D2. Highlight these two cells and then auto fill down. Okay, so now I've got last name, first name, graduation year. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to start building the username. So let's go ahead and give that a column heading as well. So the first thing I want to do, now all usernames, assuming, are going to be lowercase. Now, you're probably wondering, why didn't they just do that here? Well, like I, I was saying, sometimes I'm importing the names separately, and so I do want to have those proper, but the username is going to be lowercase, so I'm going to be equals lower. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take the last name, which is going to be an E2. And then I want to add on to that. So to add on, I want to do the and symbol. 
And now I'm actually going to do left. And I'm going to do left, open parenthesis, F2, comma, 1, close parenthesis. What that's going to do right now, and you can see the example, is it's taking, it's counting from the left one digit or, or one character space. So therefore, it's giving me the letter M. Now, I need to add on to this as well for the usernames that I create. So I'm going to do and write. And then I'm going to click on, open parenthesis there, I'm going to click on G2, comma, and I'm going to count two from the right. What that's going to do is give me the last two digits of the student's graduation year. Now I do want to take this a little further and add on our school's domain. That way they can have their email address be their username, or maybe in this case I'm actually creating email addresses. Again, I'll do the and symbol. And then I'm going to just go ahead and do parentheses. Anytime you do parentheses like this, um, you're going to have, I'm sorry, not parentheses, quotations. Whenever you do the double quotes, whatever's in between is going to appear as is. So you can do a string of text. And this string of text will be my full domain. I'll just do at examplescool.org. Close the quotes, close the parentheses, and press enter. And now you can see I've got student's last name, first initial, graduation year, and then their domain. Click on it, double click the fill handle, and I've just gone through and created a whole bunch of usernames very quickly. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you have any suggestions on how I could improve the tutorial and make it a little easier for you, uh, please go ahead and leave those in the comments. Thanks for watching.